Wine styles. There are myriad wine styles made the world over. No two wines are ever exactly alike due to the influence of climate, geology, grape blends, and the makers' approach in the vineyard and winery. All the factors that combine to make what the French call terroir. They can broadly be categorized as follows. Sparkling wines run the style Gamou from light as air Italian Prosecco and elegant, steely French champagnes that mellow with age to rich, heartwarming, toasty bubblies from warmer New World vineyards and ripe fruit red sparkling Shiraz from Australia. The classic blend of grapes of sparkling wine, champagne in particular, is Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. This combination develops fruitiness with firmness and fragrance. Top sparkling wines also gain biscuity, complex characters from the second fermentation and bottle in contact with the finished fermentation yeasts. Good champagne should have complex toast, nut, butter and biscuit flavors, and the bubbles should give a tingling sensation to balance the flavor. Expect pale, white, even green tinct colors in the glass, with green apple, fresh mown grass, wet stones and sometimes gooseberry on the nose. These wines will be light, with neutral aromas backed up by crisp acidity and tangy, refreshing fruit on the palate, with flavors of apples, pears, citrus fruits. Grapes to look for are Pinot Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc, Riesling and lighter versions of Chardonnay. These wines are not widely found in the New World, except the coolest parts of New Zealand. Many classic examples come from the Old World, including Vino Verde from Portugal and Chablis and Muscadet from France. Oak aging does a crisp, dry white no favors, and a good producer will not weigh his wines down this way. Best drunk young and fresh. These wines should be refreshing on the palate, rather than limp, bland and lifeless. Aromatic wines may have a strong color, but it is on the nose that they really make their mark. Expect anything from honey, diesel and hay, to smoky citrus notes, peaches, to pure grape flavors, and even roses, lychees and Turkish delight. Most of these aromas will be backed up on the palate with similar flavors, but the wine can vary from light and delicate to robustly perfumed and weighty. The powerful aromatic character of these wines can often integrate well with a touch of sugar, so they can be made in an off-dry or medium-sweet style. No sensible producer will smother the lively character with oak. Less flamboyant on the nose, but more assertive on the palate than aromatic wines, tangy, steely styles are some of the best to pair with food. Expect creamier, smoother aromas and allow time for these to open out in the glass as the wine warms up and as it ages. Grippy, firm fruited flavors tend to mellow and mature as the wine gets older. Tangy wines often contain flavors of hazelnuts, damp stones and beeswax. Steely ones lean toward flint and gooseberries and limes. In general, tangy wines respond better to oak aging than steely ones, but not for long. Oaky vanilla flavors can easily overpower these wines. Dramatic, bold and golden in the glass, these wines look as luscious as they taste. Expect a waft of buttery, honeyed aromas, along with tropical fruit, peaches, nectarines, even pineapple. There will be a similar barrage of rich, mouth-feeling, creamy flavor on the palate. Full-bodied wines often have higher alcohol, too, being from sunnier climes, but the best of them still have a twang of acidity to keep them balanced. Although they all benefit from additional vanilla oak characters, these wines should never be overwhelmed by them. Full-bodied whites mainly hail from warmer New World countries, but pockets of the Northern Rhone and Central Spain produce some powerful whites, too. Many of these wines gain complexity with age. Made from the red grapes, but left only for a limited time with the color giving grape skins, rosé can vary from palest powder puff pink to deep opaque red, depending on how long the grapes macerate. 
Many have the weight of a white wine on the palate, but the aromas of red fruits and hedgerow berries nearly always give away their red grape origins. Lighter wines generally from Old World countries, Loire Valley and Provence in France and Navarra in Spain, will be delicate, thirst-quenching and tangy with a hint of red fruits. Heavier examples from the Rhone Valley in Australia have richer, deeper, almost red wine flavors, not to mention a touch of grippy tannin. Grenache is one of the most popular rosé grapes. This style is red wine at its simplest, freshest and most juicy. These pinky reds are for drinking as young as possible when they greet with pure primary fruit aromas of raspberry, red apple and cherry, backed up with cheery red fruit characters that fill the palate. There will be no chalky tannins getting in the way of their satiny smoothness, and any acidity will be soft and supple. Fresh, fruity reds are just as likely to come from the old world as the new, from grapes like Gamay, Grenache and Barbera, which are naturally low in tannin. From hotter countries where grapes get riper in the sun, tannins are often overtaken by full fruity flavors, so a usually robust grape like Merlot can exchange its tannin for plummy fruit. These reds trade on their fruity freshness so are best without aging in oak. This group includes the world's classic red wines, which first and foremost have a firm structure and plenty of backbone. In medium to full body, old world wines, such as Burgundy, Bordeaux and Barolo, aromas and flavors might not be very expressive at first, but with a year or two's age, the wines will open up to reveal wafts of bramble fruit, mulberry plum and violet. They develop in a similar way on the palate too. Youthful hard tannins will soften, and as the wines mature, the range of fruit flavors will evolve to include cranberries, spice, truffles and chocolate. Medium and full-bodied reds call out for oak, which adds both structure and a touch of vanilla aroma. These wines match perfectly with meat dishes. These are the most mouth-filling wines of them all. Grapes such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Black Currant, Black Fruit, Shiraz, spicy plum and licorice, and Zinfandel, leather and strawberries dominate this category. The wines will look inky black in the glass, show intense sweet black fruit on the nose, then dense velvety smooth inky fruit on the palate. The key here is ripeness. These wines are mainly from grapes tough enough to survive in hot vineyards, Napa Valley in California, Barossa Valley in Australia. Many will evolve in the cellar, but their overwhelming ripeness also makes them fruity enough to drink young. They all need oak to balance their powerful fruit flavors. Many come from the New World, but parts of Europe create these wines too. Sweet wines vary from light, grapey versions from the Muscat grape, which press the palate delicately with soft fruitiness, to intense Australian liquor wines, again Muscats, which display all the golden sunshine of their origins. The former are aperitifs, the latter likewise are too concentrated for drinking with a meal. In between are a host of sweet wines with richly honeyed aromas and buttery smooth flavors apricots, peaches, apple pie, spice, that become ever more luscious the warmer their origin. All sweet wines should have a crisp acidity to balance their sweet fruit or they become lifeless. Those from the Riesling grape are some of the zestiest, but Tokai from Hungary has the tangiest, most lingering sweetness of all. Deceptively pale in the glass, these wines are extraordinarily powerful on the nose and palate. Expect a strong whiff of salt, almonds, cut grass and even cheese aromas when you take a sniff. Then to follow, dry, tangy, almondy flavors that grip the palate and linger for ages. Fino and Manzanilla sherries are bone dry with no acidity at all. A heady, salty character almost reminiscent of the sea develops from aging in barrels in the presence of a special yeast called Floor. 
Cercial and Verdejo, Madeiras are crisper and more apply than their Spanish counterparts, but they are just as tangy and long-lasting. No other wine in the world approaches this unusual style, and no other makes as refreshing an aperitif, or as good a match for snacks such as salty chips and nuts. A hedonistic bunch, these wines range from tawny-colored walnut tea ports to amber Oloroso sherry and red-black plum and violet-flavored vintage ports. In general, the browner colors reflect time spent in wood, and these wines will typically gain nutty, caramelly aromas. The deep red wines, on the other hand, gain color and flavors almost solely from the grape and tend to be pure-fruited in youth, evolving in the best wines into complex berry, tar and dark chocolate flavors with age. For vintage pour, this can mean 40 years or more of storage time. Fortification with grape liqueur occurs halfway through the fermentation, so all of these wines retain a distinguishing sweetness from their natural grape sugars. 